Yeah. And I, I think what's, what's interesting is like when you look at Steve's tools, he has he has some of the, arguably the best toolkit if you wanted to play lame, for sure. <laughs> like it, it suits the character so well that like you have to really evaluate if you still want to play lame against him. Uh, game one here though, uh, Jake versus Emo Lord. Like I said, you can play lame and effectively against Samus. The lamer you play and the, the more you hit Samus before she even hits you, the better. But immediately Emo Lord with a down throw neutral air. I mean, big combo, dang. big combo. Yeah, our first time seeing Emo Lord Samus, but I'm really impressed that he knows the uh, charge shot combos. That's the best thing about having the half charged charge shot like that is because it actually combos into grabs, so <laughs> you get some really huge uh, damaging combos from that. Yeah. Oh no. But, uh, okay, watch yourself. Yeah, Great. I, oh, you gotta watch the. Okay, so it's a little bit heavy, so you can live that. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> You're gone. I mean. Oh, I actually did like the Samus choice for this matchup. Just because that uh, charge shot is really effective at being able to deal with Steve while, uh, you know, they're from full screen, just getting all their, their mats, right? You can just interrupt that a little bit, unless they put like a, a wall in between you two, but uh, I think Samus has like the tools to just get through the, you know, the walls of this. They have like good enough hitboxes to deal with that while also getting a charge room, so Samus not too bad choice yeah. for this. I think I think you have to also evaluate like how close you are to Steve because look at the minute that you get close to Steve, he does have pretty good tools to double you. Or at worst case scenario, like you get corner carried or dragged off the stage by like an air or, I'm sorry by neutral air or four tilt. So you have to really watch yourself. Definitely being able to play the distance with Samus is good for Emo Lord. And the one thing oh no, that was good for So initially that was a reaction. That was more like I used Zare and if Jake wanted to come at me. I up tilted to cover that, but unfortunately, like you have to really respect Jake when it comes to using cart because the, the powered mine cart really does a wonder for Jake. Yep, and it has the armor, and I'm even watching how Jake's using it a few times. Nice, nice timing on that uh, with punch back here, but yeah, I'm watching how Jake's using the armor of the cart. He's like, actually trying to go through the projectiles while also doing it so close that it's difficult for Emo Lord to react in time. Yeah, uh, and it's very strong. That move, <laughs> the minecart, the powered up one, gold, gold tracks. Yeah, and Steve doesn't have a lot of tools to get in on the neutral. Oh. He doesn't rely on anything other than minecart. And Elytra, oh no. Oh, he held down. Yeah. Well, you they held down, down on their up e. Oh. Honestly, oh. Uh, that was just a really good down smash. I, just even if he was trying to time a two frame on the up e, like not even thinking they would hold down on their up e like that, it, it just covers a lot of space on the ledge anyway but uh curious as to what uh emo lord wanted to do with that that up b there i know the hitbox is pretty generous so you can kind of hit people through the ledge by doing that but holding down in that situation you're so close to dying very risky and as you can see you paid the price for it but uh let's see how this match goes it still is best two out three by the way, if I if I recall correctly, so correct, yeah, that's the three yeah. here. I actually do think Emo Lord wasn't doing too bad in this matchup. It's just a few times he has to really pay attention to how he's getting uh, hit by the minecart. I think that was the main thing that was messing him up in neutral. But uh, everything else, like he's getting good combos. He's you know playing at a pretty safe distance on the stage. Oh, but then these combos are definitely gonna hurt. Yeah, Sam is like that perfect size to get hit by that those up tilt and up air screens by Steve. Oh, good up tilt too, and able to stuff with the cart as well. When I look at cart as a whole for Jake and even actually Steve's character, it's arguably one of the best option selects in the game, if not the best option select, because you're forced to interact with it. If you you have to kind of respect cart almost all the time. That's a great cross up factor coming up. But the best part about Kart is, like I said, because of Steve's lack of neutral tools, it allows Jake to close the gap in almost instantly between himself and Samus in a situation where Samus would, oh my god, in a situation where Samus would try to run away, right, with a charge shot, like, you can punish Samus by having armor on the cart and then get in, as you can see from Jake, even when he's on the sides, like, he punishes Samus. There wasn't armor on that card, but still, it was good enough to get in on Samus. Yeah, and if you think about it too, like even look at the combos you can get from hitting the, the card as well. It all just works out really well for Jake. You can see it again, getting another my card. Has this TNT setup 
Uh, not really worth in that situation. It, it did a little bit of damage to Samus, but almost ended up killing himself with it. Oh, oh no. great carry. Yeah, I think I think Jacob nice. cut onto that back air for sure. Yeah, if he's he was, doing yeah. it at very similar timings and uh, and similar situations, so Jake can just. He's, I think he's just gotten used to how Emo Lord's using that move. Yeah, I gotta give Emo Lord credit though. Like, Emo Lord had been sneaking in that back air, but yeah, that was a little bit of a big combo. Neutraler yet again catching Jake at the slip up there. Uh, Emo Lord, I, that's the one thing I'm liking about Emo Lord. He's very mobile. He's always looking ways to get in and out of Jake's range, trying to cross him up, anything to open up on that shield, and also effectively move away. With double up air, avoiding that up tilt from Jake is pretty big because you don't want to take that big combo. Yeah, it's still very scary though for Emo Lord. Oh, missing the tech on that forward is actually costing him a lot. Wow, that hitbox is huge. I that hitbox that was, was I'm happens. telling you right now, Strides. That hitbox was divide, was like designed by some unpaid internet. Yeah, That's what's <laughs> going on there. Oh, he has too much rage for that throw combo to work like that. Yeah, I'll watch yourself at the ledge. One more is there. Yeah, I was going to say Emo Lord's yeah. going to play a little bit cautious. Oh, Emo Lord. Emo Lord had almost no answers for the card. Uh, and it's not that Jake's even using the cart like, oh, willy-nilly. He's actually timing it usually.